If not for Bill Davis, we'd be calling Doug Ford Prime Minister. So you're asking yourself, what? This doesn't make any sense at all. What do you mean we used to call the Premier the Prime Minister? Weren't they always the Premier? Well, yes. I mean, in effect, the job has always been Premier of the province of Ontario. But there was a time, not that long ago, if you consider the history of this country, when we actually used to call the Premier of Ontario the Prime Minister of Ontario. That was the official title. It actually was on the door of the Prime Minister's office at Queen's Park, Prime Minister of Ontario. How did this happen? Okay, you gotta go back more than eight decades. We used to have a Premier who was very young. I think he was in his 30s when he got the job. His name was Mitch Hepburn. Mitch Hepburn was from southwestern Ontario and he was a bit like the Donald Trump of Ontario of the time. He came into office on a burst of populism and he was determined to sell off all the cabinet minister's limousines, which he did. He was determined to sell off the home of the Lieutenant Governor of Ontario, which he did. The Lieutenant Governor used to have an official residence. Not anymore. You know why? Because Mitch Hepburn sold it off. So, Hepburn comes into power and pretty quickly he starts running afoul of the Prime Minister of Canada of the time, William Lyon Mackenzie King. Strange, because they were both liberals, and yet they had this terrible relationship. And Hepburn, in order to put himself on a plane as impressive as Prime Minister King's, decided to change the title from Premier of Ontario to Prime Minister of Ontario. So he was no longer Premier Hepburn. He was now technically called Prime Minister Mitch Hepburn, the Prime Minister of Ontario. This tradition lasted for several successive premiers. All the way from the 1930s until the 1960s, the Premier of Ontario had the sign on his door which said, Prime Minister of Ontario. Technically, that was the term. When John Robarts became Prime Minister of Ontario in 1961, one of the first questions he was asked by members of the media was, are you gonna keep the title Prime Minister of Ontario or are you gonna switch it back to Premier of Ontario as it was before Mitch Hepburn's time? And Robart said, well, you know what? When I got to the office, that was the name that was on the door, so I'm just gonna leave it as is. So he didn't do anything about it. 10 years later, in February of 1971, Bill Davis won a leadership convention and became Robarts' successor. Same question for Bill Davis. In March of 1971, when he was sworn in, Mr. Davis, are you gonna keep the title Prime Minister of Ontario or are you gonna change it? And Mr. Davis said, well, you know what? The country really should only have one Prime Minister. And so, he struck a commission and he decided the country only needs one Prime Minister and so we're going to officially change the title back to Premier of Ontario. So, Bill Davis was in effect the first Premier of Ontario since the 1930s. And that's why Doug Ford today is called Premier and not Prime Minister. You can thank Bill Davis for that. If you have any other questions about Ontario politics or politics in general for that matter, send me a tweet. I'm at S. Paikin. That's S-P-A-I-K-I-N. And while you're here, check out some of our other Nerds on Politics videos as well.